Well, my name's Ty. I like anything with throttle and some things without. And on this episode, I get stuck in this freaking sand hill. So if you want to see what happens, stick around. Well, we're starting a new adventure right now. We're at a familiar place that we've been before called the Belly of the Dragon Hike near Kanab, Utah. I'll show you what we just went through in a minute. It's a tunnel. But last time we came here, it was all ice, water, and ice right, right here. And it has, it's a little bit warmer this time, but there is still some snow. So when we got up here just a little ways last time, we stopped because there was a frozen waterfall and we couldn't really get around it. So we'll see if we can get around it this time or not. Yeah, all of this was ice before all the way up. Here's the waterfall here. Trail kind of goes up. I don't think it goes up around here. Yeah. Well, we got a little further than last time. Last time we only got to there. Didn't come up here at all. This is pretty wet, muddy, and icy as well. This is super muddy. This might be the end of the road for us right now. We're just starting the adventure. We don't want to be covered in mud. Oh, look at that. Nasty. Oh, yep. I'm glad I don't want to get out of here. Yeah, we can actually keep going. Oh. Yeah, that's some nasty mud right there. That's why I didn't step in it. Yeah, I'm fixing that mud. The snow can actually help. Hey, did you want to press on? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <gasps> oh, and we got my foot wait, stuck in the mud. So, like, we needed to pull out my suit came off and my foot went in the mud and it's so dirty. And it was with my my new sock. So now I have one sock and one no sock. Okay, here is the belly of the dragon itself. I'm walking through it. It's pretty dark. Here, here's the flashlight. Isn't you just gotta push it once. There you go. Is it? After we finished up the short belly of the dragon hike, we came across this cool cave that we had to check out. Go check out this little cave thing we found. See what it's about. It's called the Moki Cave and has some interesting history. Garth Chamberlain bought the property from a local rancher in 1951 and him and his wife refashioned the location as a bar and dance hall with live music. Garth passed away in 1992, but his family continues the business and keeps all of his artifacts and rocks on display for the public to see. Also nearby is the Moki Sand Caves, which is also a fun hike with the kids where there's a bunch of cave systems up on a cliff that you can play around in. After checking out the museum, we made our way into town to enjoy some live music and a lantern festival. Last night, we went to the lantern uh, festival or whatever they call it. And uh, it's early in the morning, the sun's just coming up. Everyone else already left. Of course, we're running slow. We got all the kiddos, so we're trying to load up and see if we can go get a parking spot to watch the balloon festival launch. are, I was ready to get away from the crowds and go find some trails. Thank you. 
it's gonna slip a little bit, but you're good. She's just dirty. I don't care about that. Sup, Octane? How you feeling? Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, go on it. Let's see how your baby do.
doing? I'm out of breath already. Yeah. We're not even getting, we don't even have one out yet. Nope, but almost there. She's almost out, Bev. think yeah this is our current predicament I just got up this big sand hill. We weren't planning, okay, restart. We're here on Hog Canyon. I've never been here before, we're down in Kanab, Utah. We were gonna do a loop. We ran into a motorcycle guy towards the top over here who said, are you going all the way top? We're like, we think so. He's like, ah, I don't know if I would. There's a bunch of mud. So we decided to turn around, which means we have to come back up this massive sand hill, which I'm getting stuck at. That's why I'm out of breath. Luckily we had the traction boards, but we just got the gladiator to this flat area. I don't think we're out of the woods yet, but we now we gotta go down and get our friend's wrangler right now. So you can see these big ruts that I'm digging. Whew. Totally missed that. You're like, fuck, I shouldn't have brought these down. <laughs> You're me. Man, Tom, I didn't get that on video. I know. You own that thing. I wasn't stopping. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the story that I cleared the path. I like that. Go, as long as I got up the hill, you can take all the credit you want. Cause it was a bitch to get you up. <laughs> <laughs> but notice here the nice ridges. You ain't got them right here. That's <laughs> why. Well, these are cheap Amazon ones, so. Hey, that's okay. Well, we got them from the, the point. dude that we yeah. got the yeah. rooftop tent from. Yeah. So, they work. Don't even matter. The JL just owned us up that hill. What was the best part? On the edge, you know, where I'm kind of, you know, at the bottom, and then a second, I'm like, fucking gun it. So I hit it, bounced, and just took off and went. <laughs> I was like, I'm not slowing down one bit. You when owned I saw it. The kids, I was like, get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, Trisha was like, move, get out of the way, get off the I knew road. if I stopped, I was <laughs> Well, tell we're back on the rocks that we're not out of it. No, I'm ready for further. outside the Airbnb, but our friends are staying here and they got a sauna and we set it to like 160. It's insane. It's like 125 right now, 126. It's hot. Ooh, my phone's probably gonna melt. It's got the uh, basket of rocks. Ooh. Two seconds later. That's about all I can take. Ooh. Breaking sweat. <laughs> We got up late, like always, but we have a spectacular view of all the balloons right here. It's pretty cool. Might almost be better than if we were down over where they're parking because they're all floating towards where we're at.
trip's winding down. It wouldn't be complete without some RV maintenance of kitting all new tires and shocks, which is not planned, but uh, don't have a blowout either. So we're getting it done. Should be about out of here soon. We'll get back on the road, head home. So if you enjoyed this video in any way, give it a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. If you want to support the channel even more, head over to OctaneMotorWorks.com. And until next time, feel your passion. Thank you.